Hi everyone, this is Andrew. This will be my fourth uh, algebra tutorial, and today we'll be looking at uh, simultaneous equations and using the substitution method to solve them. Righto, first of all, what's a simultaneous equation? Well, that's simply where we have two equations, in this case 4a plus 2b equals 22, and 2a minus b equals 1, and we have two unknowns. So we'll only be using two unknowns to begin with. You can solve for three unknowns and four unknowns if you have enough equations. Okay, so today we'll do two normal problems and we'll do a word problem at the end. So the first step is to, well, we can label our equations. So we can label that equation one and equation two. Now, using equation two, Let's, the, the goal of uh, substitution is to change, to rearrange one of, the f one of the equations to get one of these letters by themselves. So to get it in terms of one of the letters. So looking at these two, I think this would be the easy, easiest to get. So we've got 2a minus b equals 1. So that would be, if we rearrange that, we'd get 2a equals 1 plus b. And to get b by itself, that would just be 2a, it's a funny a, 2a minus 1, right? And we can go ahead and label that equation 3. The next step would be to substitute, so this is the substitution part of the method, is to substitute, substitute um, 3 into 1. Because we rearrange 2, we'll have to substitute it into the other equation. Right? So, what that means is instead of writing 4a plus 2b equals 22, we would write 4a plus 2 times 2a minus 1 equals 22. So 4a plus 2b oops, 4a plus 2b, now we know that b will equal 2a minus 1. So 4a plus 2b equals 22. Expand those brackets. 2 times 2a is 4a. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 equals 22. Get all the a's on one side and all the numbers on the other side. So we'll have 8a on this side, won't we? 4a plus 4a will equal 22 plus 2, 24. a will equal, what's 24 divided by 8? 3. Okay, that's one of our answers. And then all we have to do is substitute that a into one of our other equations, or what, any of the equations actually. So let's choose the simpler one, so 2a minus b, remember? 2a minus b equals 1. Substitute our new a value, so 2 times 3 minus b equals 1. Put the b onto that side and the 1 on the other side, just to get b by itself. So 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 equals b. b will equal 5. And there's our answers, a equals 3 and b equals 5. Good thing is you can go ahead and check that, can't you? So if a equals 3 and b equals 5, let's go up here a equals 3, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 times b is, 2 times 5 is 10, 12 plus 10 is 22, that's correct. 2 times a is uh, 6 minus 5 equals 1, correct. Yes, so for, uh, with algebra you can almost always check your answer. Good. Let's try another problem. How about 3x plus 5y equals 2, 
and the other equation 10y minus 2x equals 0. It doesn't matter what order these are in, as long as we don't confuse them. Just label our equation 1, equation 2. So taking equation, which one do you think would be easiest? I'm thinking this one here would be easiest to get to. So 10y minus 2x equals 0. We could rewrite that. 10y will equal 2x, won't it? We're just adding 2x to both sides. Divide everything by 2. 5y will equal x. There we go. x equals 5y. We'll call that equation 3. So substitute equation 3 into substitute equation 3 into 1. So 3x plus 5y equals 2. 3x plus 5y equals 2. 3x plus 5y equals 2. Now, we found in equation 3 that x equals 5y. So 3 times 5y plus 5y equals 2. 15y plus 5y equals 2. 20y equals 2. y will equal 2 over 20, which equals so 2 over 20, which equals what? 0.1? 1. 1 over 10, or 0.1? Great, y equals 0.1. Now knowing that y equals 0.1, we can go back to one of our equations, just the one that we remember. 10, x, so it was 10y, wasn't it? Let's take a look. 10y minus 2x equals 0. 10y minus 2x equals 0. We have our new y value, 0 0.1. So 10 times 0 0.1 minus 2x. Well, let's get the 2x on the other side. We can just add it, can't we? Equals 2x. 10 times 0 0.1 is 1, isn't it? 1 equals 2x. x will equal 1 over 2. Or we can write it as 0 0.5 if you want to use decimals. 0.5. There we go, y equals 0.1 and x equals 0.5. You can go ahead and check that if you like. Okay, let's do a word problem now. I've got one up here somewhere. Right. So we have 100 tickets. 100 tickets were sold. So just say to a music recital, children's tickets are $3.50 each, adult tickets are $5 each, and the total sales were $471.50. So how many of each ticket were sold? Okay, so we know that 100 tickets, was, 100 tickets were sold. How about we assign variables first? Okay, so children's tickets, the, sorry, the number of children's tickets. We'll call that C. C equals the number of children's tickets. Well, number of children, that'll be fine. A equals the number of adult tickets sold. Okay, so if we know that, wouldn't it follow that A plus C equals 100? If A is the number of adult tickets and C is the number of children's tickets, then A plus C must equal 100, right? So let's go down and write that. So our equation 1 is A plus C equals 100. Now what else do we know? We know that each child ticket is $3.50, don't we? We know that each adult is $5, and the total sales is $4.71. So couldn't we also say that $5 for each adult ticket 
and A is the number of adults, plus $3.50 for each child ticket would equal our total value, wouldn't it, of $471.50. Alright, okay, we can solve that using substitution. Okay, so looking at 1 first, A will equal 100 minus C, right? We'll call that equation 3. Substitute equation 3 into the other equation which is 2. So we'll get uh, 5 times 100 minus C. So we're just substituting this one in, into equation 2. 100 minus C plus 3.5C equals 471.5. Expand those brackets there, 500 minus 5C plus 3.5C equals 471.5. Again, get all the numbers on one side, all the C's on the other. So 500 minus, so 500 minus 471.5 is 28.5, right? You can use a calculator if you need to. And then on the other side, it'll be 5c minus 3.5, which is 1.5c, right? So 28.5 divided by 1.5, let me just have a quick check here, is 19, right? So c will equal 19, so there are 19 children. And then we can use that information, so c equals 19. Well, it's a fairly trivial sort of thing to solve now, isn't it? If we know that uh, the number of adults plus the number of children equals 100, then it would follow that A, A must equal 100 minus 19, which is 81, right? So the answer is 19 children and 81 adults. Okay, let's check that on the calculator. So 19 children, 81 adults. 19 children, 81 adults. I'll go up to the original problem. So we have 81 adults at $5 each, 81 times 5, plus uh, 19 children at $3.50 each, 19 times $3.50 equals $471.50, and that is the right answer, isn't it? Yep, there we go. Um, that'll do us for our, our substitution method. I think the next uh, tutorial I'll do the elimination method, another method to solve simultaneous equations. Okay, until next time, thank you.